Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to Manifest the Finesse on YouTube. My name is Manifesting Guy. That is my Twitter, TikTok, and podcast. All the links are down below. My paid coaching email is down below and all time stamps are down below. And today we're going to be talking about manifesting for students. It doesn't matter if you're a law student, a middle school student, a high school student, undergrad, postgrad, year four, form five, 11th grade whatever you call it wherever you're from proud of you even if you dropped out because you were like oh this college isn't for me school isn't for me i don't want to do school proud of you too everybody deserves unconditional love and support wherever they are in their journey okay so the first thing i want to talk about is not self-concept <laughs> right now but uh, this is just for manifestation in general because i see too many people do this whenever they're manifesting anything you cannot pre-decide failure for yourself number one and be surprised when it manifests you cannot get your class schedule for school and be like oh my god i got the hardest teacher ever for math she never gives anybody a's the smartest person i know averaged a c in that class so what does that say for me since i'm not the smartest person in the school like you cannot pre-decide that you are not going to do well and then be surprised when you don't do well or expect good things from telling yourself you don't do well or it's not going to work out for you like you haven't even taken the class it is one thing to literally be in like that circumstance already where you're failing and be like okay like now i have to like manifest out of it but to like not even have taken a test yet or not even have a failing average and be like oh my god i'm gonna fail because she always fails people you can't do that for yourself i see too many people do it and it's setting yourself up for failure especially when it comes to school you have to be so conscious about your thoughts and what you're saying to yourself because school just has such a negative connotation for a lot of people like it's pain it's torture it's prison i remember when <laughs> I remember when I was in middle school and they had like the acronym for school and it was like six crappy hours of our lives or something like that. So I understand, but you have to understand that other people's experiences don't have to be your experience. School doesn't have to be hard. Law school, med school does not have to be hard. Hard. you don't have to stay till 3 a.m you don't have to be behind you don't have to stress about sats or mcat or the bar like it can be as easy law school can be as easy as middle school if you allow it you don't let other people's experiences dictate your experience you haven't especially when you haven't experienced it you can't go into something and be like it's gonna be so hard and then be like oh i knew this was gonna be hard it was so hard yeah because you said so uh, everybody fails this teacher's class not you when you graduate you're probably gonna have to work a job for the rest of your life if you want to survive oh I'm an owl. I could talk about this for like hours. I don't understand how like Gen Xers were staying at companies for 25, 35, 40 years. Bro, I cannot wake up at 8 a.m. every day for 35 years. Oh my god. Oh my god. Relationships are so hard because everybody gets cheated on. I look at her like, who everybody? You must be everybody. Because that is not my story, love. That is not my story. Like, if you don't want to experience something or you want to have a different experience than the one you are currently living, you can and you don't need anybody's approval because your subconscious mind and your desires don't run on the approval for anybody else. I don't care if your mom says you're not going to be successful. She's not deciding. Like, she has her own life. Like, her life sucks and she's bored. She's coming over here telling you that you're a failure because, trust me, if anybody has time, to be condemning you for what you're doing they are not living a good life because i don't have time i don't have time with all these desires that i want i don't have time to be talking about somebody else you don't need anybody's approval to live the best life for yourself so don't pre-decide failure pre-decide success i don't care if you started school a month ago two weeks ago i don't care if you're watching this on the last day of school bruh this is this was is will be the best year for you academically athletically socially like this is your experience this is your school experience you're not gonna go through this again you're not gonna relive yesterday's school day again so why would you also stop making these jokes with your friends again with the pre-deciding thing but it's so much easier when you're joking about it oh my god i definitely failed that test because i didn't study i'm gonna fail this class this teacher definitely hates me ha <laughs> ha what's funny like it is not funny to like make jokes about you failing it is not funny to make jokes about your misery it is not funny to make yourself a victim for other people's amusement like it is not funny first of all your subconscious mind doesn't understand jokes it thinks that what you're saying is literal now of course if that's not your job, I want to believe it won't manifest because you're not persisting on it. But if you keep joking every single day, like, ha, oh, this class is so hard. Ha, oh, this class is so long. Ha, oh, I'm failing. I'm failing. And you're not, you're going to manifest it. Because why would you, like, why would you even say that? So, like I said, be going into this year with your year. Make it your year. Straight A's, done. Even if you feel like you can't get straight A's, C's make degrees. You can't spell degrees without D's. Like, 
Make it so that no matter what the outcome is, it works out for you. Guys, listen to me. Like, SATs for universities and college is now optional because of COVID. That was very well somebody's manifestation. I have no doubt that somebody somewhere in the world in 2020 was like, I don't want to take SATs. There needs to be some way that I don't have to. I'm a bad standardized test taker, right? They could have manifested, oh, I'm an amazing SAT taker. I got an amazing score, but they didn't want to take it at all. And you shouldn't have to compromise with your 3D circumstances. Like, if you don't want to do something, don't do it. So they were like, I don't know how. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm not taking SATs. Harvard doesn't need my SAT. Like, even Ivy Leagues do not need SATs anymore. Uh, I don't, Yale doesn't need my SAT scores, pandemic, boom, no more SATs. Now, obviously, the person that was manifesting this wasn't like, oh my god, pandemic, pandemic, the whole world's gonna close down and they're not gonna, like, they didn't know the how, but the how didn't matter. You would've told somebody five years ago, SATs in five years are gonna be optional for college. They'll look at you like, girl, are you crazy? It's been like this since the 80s and you think that it's randomly going to be test optional. It's randomly schools aren't going to need it anymore. Now they don't need it anymore. So I don't care what it is. I don't care if you want all A's when you only want to take one class. You only want to have one teacher the whole year. You can do it. It doesn't matter how long something's been like that. I don't care if they say, no, you have to take at least five classes. If you want to take two and graduate at the same rate as everybody else, you can do it. People aren't deciding. Or if they did decide, they don't have a choice to not conform to what you're telling yourself consistently. And it doesn't matter if it takes one person or a thousand people. Everybody will come together to aid you in you receiving what you want. It doesn't matter if it has to go through the state or the country and then the government and then your your local town and then your principal and then your teacher. Like, it'll happen. It'll all work out. But that is not your job to know. You just keep deciding what you want and expect that it will show up because it will. I don't care if you're watching this last week of school, you can revise the whole thing if you need to, you don't have to. But if they're telling you, right, it's the last week of school, they're like, you did so bad this year, your attendance sucked, your grade sucks, you're gonna have to go to summer school and you do not wanna go to summer school. We are not even saying, I'm not going to summer school, I'm not going to summer school. Like, I don't wanna hear the word summer school at all. What, like, what do you want to do? I'm so sick of people being like, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this, I'm not struggling, I'm not in debt, I'm not in love. Like, no, like, I don't, obviously, like, if you had your desire, you're obviously not in undesirable circumstances, so what do you want? You want to be in Monaco, you want to be in Italy, you want to be in Lake Como, on a yacht all summer, that's what you're persisting in. All summer, I'm out the country, all summer, I'm in Monaco, all summer, I'm in Italy, all summer, I'm in Milan, all summer, I'm on the oceans, I'm on the shores, all summer, I'm traveling. If you're saying that to yourself consistently, what time? If you're literally at the country all summer, what time do you have for there to be summer school? That shouldn't even be like, you should never be working around some circumstances. I'm in Italy all summer, so I don't have time to be at summer school. Like, summer school isn't an option in this reality that you want to quantum jump to. So stop making that a reality. Just decide what you want and don't even, circumstances don't matter. Your subconscious mind doesn't see circumstances. I want to make a video about that. But like, seriously, you and your 0.0035% mind cannot possibly know how. So stop wondering stop asking stop questioning you're literally just victimizing and holding yourself back like release resistance and just be like i don't care yachts all summer out the country all summer also it doesn't just have to be academics that you're manifesting okay if you were cut from the soccer team you made it i don't care if they had like the first eight practices the first three games i don't care like i've seen that happen even before i found out about the law i used to manage sports teams i've seen people cut from sports teams and still show up and not they didn't ask they didn't beg they just kept showing up and they were standing there and the coach was like all right like you can get a jersey you can get a number like you can play all they did was keep showing up keep showing up would just sit at practices be silent keep showing up and they already had practices they already had games but the person didn't care they weren't looking at it from lack they were like oh my god they already had four games i'm not gonna be it who cares like bro who cares manifest that they add more games to the rasta to the rasta it's on the rasta like who cares manifest that they redo some games manifest that some games didn't get logged and they have to redo those games like dude stop like stop thinking it's so limited i don't care if you're already on the soccer team but your dream is to go to regionals your team your dream is to go to championships but my school is so bad we haven't won a championship game or even been to championships since 1967 okay well 2022 2023 whatever year you're watching this hey 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 you guys go in the regionals again finally after what 60 years circumstances don't matter stop bringing them along stop trying to make room for them okay i want to manifest this but how can i manifest this with this circumstance you won't 
you will not if that's what you're going to focus on. There are no circumstances at play here. Why would you say my team never gets to regionals if you want to play at regionals? Okay, you missed the deadlines for scholarships. You missed the deadline for FAFSA. You missed the deadline for applying to this. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. It's not that hard to get anything extended. It is not that hard to get anything extended. And you, people are always like, well, I have to reach out to them if I want them to contact me. If you want something to happen to you, why would you go out of your way to do it? Because you don't trust in your power. Because you want to see in the 3D. Because you're scared. Oh my god. Da, 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 da. Well, yeah. With that mindset, it's not going to happen. And even if you force the 3D, but you dominantly still don't think it's going to work out, I don't know what to tell you. But it doesn't matter. Like, people can push deadlines. I don't care if you need money. I don't need... I don't care if you need financial aid office denied me. No, they didn't. No, they did not. No, they did not. Doesn't even matter if they did. You have more than enough money. You want photographic memory because you don't want to study anymore. Do people with photographic memory exist on this planet? Yes. So what makes them different from you? Not a thing. Just your mindset. If you want photographic memory, boom. All right. You want more motivation to study? More motivation. Boom. You want to go to Harvard, but you have C's and D's and B's. Happen to me. I'll make a success story about that, like, really soon. But, like, like they don't care. I swear to you, they do not care. You want to be homecoming queen or king, but every year they pick a blonde hair, blue eye, beach Barbie or surfer boy, and you're a non-binary brown skin with an afro boom first non-binary brown skin with an afro homecoming king homecoming like guys you have to like tell yourself though you can't sit here and be like but this but that but what if it doesn't happen but this happened but the deadline but they said but i got this teacher but they gave me a 60 i don't care so if you're deciding that it is set in stone your undesirable circumstances then it will be what is not clicking about your thoughts create i can't manifest it for you i can't force you i'm trying to tell you that your thoughts create and you're like no but no but again but da, 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 then it won't like it is what you say like you are right regardless of whether it's in your favor or not your subconscious mind does not care you are right so be telling you what you want to experience okay i don't care if you play in the band you do theater you do newspaper you know that stereotypical stuff where people are like Ugh. and you want to date the high school quarterback okay and he's also the captain and he's also the most popular boy in school you want some euphoria type stuff you want to be maddie and nate without the abuse okay <laughs> like oh but he has a girlfriend yeah you like oh but he's straight and i'm gay but I okay guess who out the closet your sp like i don't care if you want to get paid to go to school but how would that happen i'm in high school why would they pay me all right boom you get food poisoning they reimburse you for every single lunch you've ever paid boom you want a raffle for spirit week boom a job opens up and they need a the janitor needs an assistant boom you get paid to go to school like and you get paid while you're doing classes like i don't care i don't care like so many infinite possibilities infinite timelines stop trying to micromanage stop trying to talk yourself out your desires like if you want it you would talk yourself into them there is literally no reason why school should suck or be hard for you and trust me i wish i knew about this stuff when i was in school you can make your experience whatever you want it to be best four years of your life yeah those were the best four years of my life okay you want some high school musical stuff to go on you're about to go into freshman year and you want it to be like exactly like high school musical get your throat ready because you're about to be singing and geometry class like okay even if you want to drop out i don't care like if you literally hate it if you know soulfully that you don't want to be in school and like you're being forced like your parents are making you they say you'll fail if you don't go uh they'll kick you out if you don't go xyz like whatever i don't care it'll work out just keep saying i'm not here what do you not even i'm not here like what do you want to be doing you want to be paid to video game streams do boom it's done i stream all day i'm in my own house i stream all day i got my own place i'm doing what i want i get paid to do what i want didn't need school didn't need a degree i'm a millionaire without a degree like whatever but you can't sit here and be thinking like but my parents will be mad but i don't have a backup plan but how will it start how would it work who's gonna do it for me if you just want to chill at the end of the day, you don't want to be doing no school stuff, you don't want to be working, you just want to chill, then chill, Jack Frost. Hey, chill. I invented chill. You invented chill. Like, chill. Again, always be expecting the best. And if you can't get there or if you're not there, self-concept. School is easy. School is fun. School is light. I get paid to go to school. School is so good. I love my life. My life gets better and better every day. School is getting easier. That teacher is getting easier. That teacher let up. That teacher loves me. If they tell you lunch is at 9 a.m. and you're like, who wants to eat a fish fillet at 9 a.m.? I want my lunch to be at 1 p.m. I don't care if that's not like a scheduled lunch time. I don't care, bro. I don't care. Like, I don't care. Especially at school. 
like it's school like why are you acting like this is like the end of the world it's literally school like there is no reason why you're overthinking this again circumstances don't matter so if you've been affirming that you're a straight a student and you in the 3d irrelevant but in the 3d you get a 50 on your next test or you get a 50 on the next three tests i don't care i don't care if you literally get a 35 on every single essay assignment and your average drops 25 points okay whatever don't be ignorant and don't become so attached to the 3d that you close your mind to infinite possibilities or possibilities that work out for you so this is what i do whenever i feel like i'm limiting myself to like crappy circumstances i sit with myself and I literally say, all right, I obviously can't conceive infinity, but what are some conceivable ways that this 50 works out in my favor for me to be a straight A student? Teacher lets y'all redo it. Teacher lets y'all redo it with open notes. It becomes a take home test. She accidentally graded your test wrong or the answers on the test were wrong and yours were right and you got 100. She gives extra credit and it goes to the lowest test grade of the year. Like whatever it is, like, okay, those are like six, seven ways, right? Now multiply that by infinity. So then you say, oh wow, okay, that's a lot of ways that I can come up with my conscious mind that only sees less than 1% of the world. And this still can happen in ways that I haven't even named. So why am I gonna sit here and trip? And the answer is you're not. It's working out for me because I said so, and it's working out for me because I'm a scholar, and it's working out for me because everything always works out for me. Well, I've been affirming, but I'm still getting 75s. I've been affirming, and it's the last week of school, and I still have an average of a 20. What does that have to do with what you want? Go Keep going. And honestly, if you're at a point where it's been like months and you're still not there, you need to focus on self-concept. Like, stop ignoring it. Like, you're doing this to yourself. Like, you know that you're not thinking positive thoughts about this thing dominantly, and you're still like, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah, because you're not working. Like, you're not changing. Like, you have to be the change you seek to experience. Like, life is not happening to you. It is happening through you. Change the reflection by changing the reflector. With that being said, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you can have anything you want in this universe. Nothing's too big, small, water, expensive. I believe in you. You should believe in you. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!